Hey guys, welcome back to Ralph's house where we paint from the heart. You know, we have a lot of fun painting. We get to do a lot of things for kids and a little bit older painters. And this is going to be more of an intermediate painting. Uh, some things I like to do. Uh, I guess I, I love to live in the past and remember the things we might have been. And in my mind, I see all these different things. Well, day at work, I was thinking about we live on the Tennessee River and we live at the foot of these mountains and uh, steamboats. Steamships used to ply these rivers. So I drew this today, and, I, and this is what I thought, well, you know, this might be something that might be fun to do. We're going to see if we can transfer this to the canvas and do us a steamboat coming up the Tennessee River. Let's see what we can do here. Now, whenever I do a painting, I get rid of the picture, so I try to copy that picture. It ain't going on the canvas. Draw on your canvas. Don't try to duplicate what you drew earlier. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can make this work. I had an accident a while ago. I had a tube of paint that busted ultramarine blue. Would have figured one of my favorite colors to play with. I'm going to draw with this blue because I'm not wasting all this paint. It's just, just plain old blue is all it is. I'm going to get some water on my brush. But this, I hope this is dark enough for y'all to see what's going on here. I think that I, this will probably work good for a drawing color. And should dry pretty quick. Let's see what we can do here. We're gonna do that river, that kind of that riverboat scene, and also the first one we gotta have in the picture is our riverboat. We gotta decide where we want it to be. It's coming more about to the middle of the canvas. So just don't be afraid to draw. Get, get it on there. We're gonna have the water coming down here. And the, so I love the idea of those old star wheelers. Too big, let's bring it down a little bit. So what we're doing, we're just playing here. Let's get our shapes, we're just trying to draw this on here a little bit. The shapes and where we want them to be. Starting wheeler coming up the river. And on that starting wheeler, the floor actually went on back there because that's part of what helped carry that big old wheel back there. You had the bow of the ship and the, you had the floor that came in, came across, and kind of curved over the other side and back down the other way. So we're just going to try to see where the river came down coming down the river. Now what I like about doing a water painting is the reflection they cast. That's always fun to do. You do a water painting to do the reflections. Get the shapes. We want to kind of that's going to be the floor coming around. Whatever I put here, I'm going to carry down here and carry this this way. I mean, that's kind of going to give me a reflection in the water, which we haven't done the water yet, but we're going to need these reflections after a while. And that gives me that wheel that will be here in the water. That's pretty neat. I like that. And you had an A-frame back here. And this actually carried the hub of the wheel, the spoke of the wheel. And it actually had pistons going to different places, and you'd had spokes on the wheels. and. So we just kind of draw this on here. And we'll play with this a whole lot because river boats, guys, they like their boats to look fancy. So they didn't just put spokes, they put kind of arches on there to make it. See the difference that made? They just they made that wheel. They were proud of them river boats. That'd be a pretty old river boat coming up the river, wouldn't it? Well, I don't really haven't seen the boat yet, but we know that this part ought to be pretty unique. And whatever's there, remember, it's got to be down here. You're reflecting it into the water, but it's the opposite of what you saw up there. And another thing, the reflection, you'll see shadows that you don't see up here because you're, the reflection is showing to you the underneath side. So you'll see as this is done, some, it's a lot of fun to do reflections. And there's that, there's, there's the bow of the boat, see, coming in. We're just trying to figure it out. We're just going to draw with this a little bit. See, I've never done one drawing with ultramarine blue. Uh, but you know what? That's half the fun of painting. You do something different. But uh, this is probably going to work to draw with. Get my lines. Keep my lines. Well, we got the bottom part of the boat. The front part's where they did some work up here. Uh, but we got to have the first deck, the first story of the boat. And it's coming across here, and it was usually rounded across the front. It wasn't flat, but it'd been rounded like that. 
I need to come back here to the wheel. And it actually had some bracing coming from there up to here to help carry it to stiffen for that where that hub that wheel was. And that's why they did that kind of stuff. These guys were, you know, all they had was wood to work with, but they were good engineers. They knew how to design this stuff and make it do what they wanted to do. They didn't have fiberglass boats. They didn't have all that stuff. Then you had the overhang that came out over the deck. It's going to come out here and it'll overhang a little bit out there. And it has what's called staunchings, and that's what held the held that overhang up out there. So we'll have to get those in there too. And then of course, you got a boat, you got to have a way to get in, you got to have doors on the side. And this is the downstairs part. And there are probably about four doors because this is where the crew and the people got to ride on the boat. I want to show you something here. How do you make a circle? Put your brush on the canvas and twist your brush. You can't see the hand, right? I know. Let's see if I can do this crooked. Let's do this. Now, twist the brush. Did you see that? Was that better? That was better. I just zoomed in. Can we do one more? Drop that hand one more time? Let's do this. Okay. So, oh, you made me. Sorry. There we go. It's his fault, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? We'll fix that. We'll paint over it. We'll just put it on there and just twist that brush. And it gives you a circle. And there's probably a door up here on the front so I can get in and out up here. It's fun. We're just designing this boat. We're just going to put it on here. You have that floor in here. Get those doors just a little hair darker, and we'll do this with colors after a while. But I want my drawing. The more detail we get in this drawing, the better off we're going to be. So we know that's where the some people rode in the boat right there. Well, steamboats had another deck up here. This is usually called the promenade deck. I think is what they call it. This is where they had the dances and the, had a cover pavilion back there on the back and. Again, this would come out, come down to here, and you'd have parties and everything up here. You probably had somewhere in here a gangway coming down. The gangways, a bunch of people walked up and down the steps. You had to have a way to get up there from the outside and inside. details but we'll pick all that up later. If you've ever painted with me you're going to see I'll paint something I'll go over it. I'll paint over it. I'm not afraid to paint over it and come back to it. This drawing, this sketch is going to take a little bit of time to do because it's so detailed. But right now we're just getting the boat in. We haven't got to the mountains and the river and the river banks. Y'all come. <laughs>